Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that I have received from GearBest.com. It is their latest B-Link Windows 10 edition box. In today's video we will be unboxing and also going to show you what this will bring on the table for us. You can see that it's very nicely designed going around. It's just blue. It has a lot of markings on it. It will tell you that this is the latest Celeron system. And also when we open the box itself it's very nicely set up. You can See box itself and then the components that are part of it is the wall mount connection or you can connect this at the back of your monitor so it comes with a bunch of screws so you can hook it up also comes with two type of the HDMI cable one is a very short one so once you connect it at the back of your monitor you can wire it see there's no wire hanging out it's a very short wire and the next one is about half a meter and that one is also created so that way if you have a bigger screen or you want to connect this behind a 32 inch or a 42 inch screen you can still process it and it will get you connected properly there is a power adapter which is about a meter long and again it's perfect so you can connect it to your power source and you can power it up the next thing that is part of this is a little quick guide and that quick guide you will be how you can connect it what each components can do for you and also some little indications how you can contact them just in case if you need help and you can see the box is very nicely designed has really cool little design right on the top with the B link writing right on the top and then going around it the front part of it has nothing but just have a little LED indicator so when you turn it on it will turn blue going on the right side of it you have two little cuts on the top which is for ventilation and underneath of it you have a full SD card slot and then you have two USB 3.0 ports going in the back from the left hand side you will see a little red button that is for your power on or power off and then right beside that you have the power connection and then you have USB 3.0 port and then you have your HDMI which is 2.0 and then you have a LAN connection which is a gigabit and then you have a headset jack. Right beside that you have a little hole so that way you can reset it and then going on the other side of it you have a VGA connection so this we can connect it to older type of TV. Looking in the bottom part of it you do have some cuts for ventilation. There is four little legs so you can stand on the flat surface so it can breathe but but in the bottom part of it there is a little sticker which we just blurred it out is going to be your Windows 10 key just in case if you ever need it or it's required once you do the update you need to just set it up that's how it's going to help you out to hook it up all right so without wasting your time let's just go ahead and hook this up together so we can type it so it will work it so make sure that you connect your HDMI wire first and then hook up the power if you do have your keyboard and mouse as a regular dongle go ahead connect that too again this is perfect so pressing the power button you're going to see a little blue light in the front and then you should see the B link on the screen. All right, so as soon as you turn it on, this is the first screen you will be getting as the main window screen. So we have customized a few things and we have set up the first part. Remember, once you get it, you have to sign in and you have to connect to your Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Once that's all done, then you can go ahead and you can press start and you can download games or you could go next to play more things, something like. In this case, we have installed a bunch of apps like Antutu and some little testing so this way we can show you how good this box is so let's go through it so first thing that we're going to launch is going to be the the pc benchmark and there you go so as soon as it comes up this is the numbers that we have got you can see it under the desk testing itself and under linear we got really cool numbers for the read and write when it comes to the hard drive that is inside of it and also when it comes to the cpu test you can also see it that it has really good numbers on it the ram itself is four gigabyte in this and you can see how good or how fast the module set up on this so you can get a really good reading and also the gpu which is the graphics card and how good it will give you all the information you can see it in the bottom that the ones that have a little check mark that we have processed processed first and then we went again and we did it one more time and you saw that we got even better numbers so that means it's again the numbers are not that much of a difference you can see it right now there's only one point or two points up or down so this is one test that we have processed the next one that we have done is the n22 benchmark this is again is very good software it gives you the 3d and also the regular test doesn't matter if it's going through gpu ram or the sd itself and also the cpu it will give you all the information 
information. So the number that we got out of this is 116472 is really high number for this. And remember that this hard drive that's in it is just an SSD 64 gig, but you can upgrade it to another higher number, which is 256, or you can even take it to 512 SSD. You can hook it up and that we have two internal storage merged together, or you can leave it as C drive or D drive, and you can use it for your own benefit using this as a regular PC, which it is. All right, so we will get out of this too. The next thing that we have done is an actual test on the read and write on the SD. And also we're going to show you on 4K how good of a number they will get. So you can see it that the numbers are pretty high according to if on an Android. But again, this is a really good numbers for this box. We have seen lower for the other Windows boxes that are, came out not that long ago. This is perfect. All right, so we will close this too. And the next thing we have done is the speed test. So once you go into the Okla speed test, we have already processed a few here and we go under history. You can see it from the bottom that we tried under 2.4 gigahertz, which is single band Wi-Fi. We have got 48 for the first time for the download and 7.96 for the upload. Remember that our download speed is 500 megabits per second and our upload speed is capped on 20 megabits per second. But again, there are certain things that are running right now and we're also uploading a video for YouTube so you can see the numbers are a little bit lower for the upload rate and also for the download since this is 2.4 it will be under the 100 megabits per second you can see that the second time we run we got 52.1 and the upload was 11.03 once we went to the 5G network remember that this box is not just 5G it's 5.8 G. So again, it's a five gigahertz Wi-Fi, but this one is set up a little bit higher so you can get a, a little bit faster internet. So 5.8 gigahertz on this, we got 253 for the first time and 294 for the second time. So that's even higher. But again, the download rate is still low because we're uploading videos. Again, this is still a really good number. Once we hook up the LAN connection, and this is a gigabit LAN, since our internet speed is around around 500. You can see for the first time that we got 446 and for the second time we got 393. Again, these numbers are really good numbers when it comes to the module that is set up on this box. And we will close this too. Now, the other thing that we have already tested is we have installed Kodi on this. Yes, so that way you can see that this box can handle 4K output on the TV. So we can go under settings, we can go under the display settings since our capture card cannot handle over 1080p. You can see that right now the maximum resolution that is set up is going to be 1080p. If you go down, it just goes to 800 by 600, which is a very small screen. But again, it's recommended to leave it on 1080p for the capture card. So we will close. But to show you that it can render and it can play really good video quality, we will go under Kodi. So click on it and let's go select Kodi. You can see that this is Kodi 17.4, but just for the people that are really into this and they want to have some more information, we will go under settings and we will go under system info. Under system info, under the summary, you can see that this is Windows 10. It is set up under 1080p, 59, which is 60 hertz, full screen. We go on the bottom, it says Kodi 17.4, which is compiled on August 22nd, 2017. So for people that really wants to know that it is Kodi 17, yes, it is. All right, let's get out of this and let's go ahead and play the video. So we'll go under the movies. We will go under into files. And we've already set up the video on a USB to play it through this, but we have already mapped it on this. So we will click on it and here's the videos. So we have a bunch of videos videos that are 4K and there we have one video that is 1080p which is from our stock videos. So we will play that first. You can see that how fast it loaded and how fast it is playing. So if we press enter, you can see it that the buffering is proper, which is getting it from the USB 3.0 and it is playing it for us perfectly. Now this is 1080p video. So we will get out of this. Remember, I'm doing this because you want to stream it from the internet too. It will work basically the same thing. So we will close this. All right, so this is our 4K video. And once we click on it, and as soon as it starts playing, you can see that it is pretty nice and very smooth. There's no choppiness or anything to this. The buffering in the bottom is proper. And also the video is just panning out and showing you properly everything since this is a very big map. And you can see it that how far the video goes, how easy it is for it to actually 
capture it and divide it properly on the screen for you. So this is also the 4K video. All right, so we will exit out of Kodi also. All right, so this was our take on the B-Link Mi I. This is their latest box that they brought out. I will be placing a link where you can order it from and also some more detailed information from the official website. I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram and other social networking places and thank you.